wouldn't even talk to me. She was hurt and angry. She just tore her out of here. She didn't even take her coat. Why did she come here? <sighs> I told her I was stopping by. I don't know why she came. Such a jerk. No, I am. Lisa, she didn't mean what she said. Why shouldn't she mean it? I meant it when I said it about Vicky. I was, I was scared. And you were there. I don't know what to say. No, you don't have to say anything. I should not have let things get out of hand. You didn't let them. It wasn't just you. I'll get you some ice for your eyes. No, I don't need any ice. I've, I've seen that hurt look on her face before. Never wanted her to have that because of me. You love her, don't you? I think so. What you and I... That was real. You were comforting me. Was I? Matt, why don't you go find Josie? I know you're worried about her. I don't want to leave you here alone. I'll be all right. I, I called the police before. They should be here any minute. Fine, I'll wait till they get here. No, you don't have to. Lisa, I want to. <sighs> Matt, what happened between you and me can't happen again. I, I know you have feelings, I, and, and you're confused about your feelings about Josie. But I don't want you to lose her, and I especially don't want you to lose her because of me. You're going to be okay? Yeah. There. That's the police probably right now. Um, they're they're uh, probably going to ask you some questions later. I'll drop by later. I, I don't think you should. Why? I think it's better if we just stop this now. Okay, is that what you want? Yeah. Hi, Jim. Come on in. Oh, my friend is just leaving. Yes, you heard me correctly. I want a circus tent, a great big one. <laughs> uh, I need it heated. Lots of mirrors and... Uh... No, it is not a children's party. It's for Felicia Gallant. That's right, the famous author. Yes, yeah, she's... Uh... She's turning 40 and uh... I want it to be lots of fun. Now, look, I've got a couple of possible dates I could give you. I... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, yes. Mueller. Uh, could you just hold the line for a moment, please? Yes, Vivian, what is it? I just wanted you to know that I finished putting all of my things away in my new room and am now available should you need me. Well, I'm very relieved to hear that, Vivian. Thank you. <laughs> uh, now, as we were saying about the food, I think that... Just one minute, please. Is there something else, Vivian? Uh, Miss Josie Watts is downstairs to see you. Josie? She says she's got some important information for you about the press party. To well, why didn't you tell me earlier? God. Now listen, Buck. We should get something straight here. If we're going to get along, you're going to have to lighten up. <laughs> Hello, I think it might be better if we discuss this later on. Could you please arrange the tent? Thank you. Oh, send her up straight away, please, Vivian. I already did. You can go right in there. Oh, thank you. Josie. Hi. Hi. Um, I brought you my application. And um, here's, here's the information for the press party that you wanted. Well, thank you. You said you had to have it by today. Yes, I did. Josie, are you all right? Well, I've been better. Um, uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Hey, darling, come on. Hang on. 
It's Matthew, isn't it? How, how did you know? <laughs> it's just a woman's intuition. Did you argue or something? Oh, man, it was worse than that. Oh, darling, I hate to see you. are so unhappy. Just come and sit down here and you tell me all about it, hmm? Well, I've lost him. Oh, no, you haven't. Listen, you want to take my advice? I guess so. Well, you just pretend nothing happened. Just act as if it was all okay. No matter what the argument was about, just leave it for a couple of days, let him cool down, and then he'll come back to beg for forgiveness. I don't think so. Oh, I've tried it thousands of times. It always works. Even when you're in the wrong. Listen, truly. It might take some time, but it will work. Maybe for you. <laughs> Josie. It was something more than a quarrel, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, Mrs. Wheeler. Matthew's in love with someone else. Well, I should have done this six months ago. I mean, I could never find anything in this drawer, so this will be kind of fun. Look at this. I must have been out of my mind. Who does this look like to you? Annette Funicello? Are you going to talk to does, me? does, doesn't it? About what? About the rest of what happened. No, I don't want to talk about it, all right? This, my darling, was my geisha girl, period. You hate it, I knew you did. No, no. Wait a minute. The timing couldn't be more perfect. You know what this is? This is the one thing I saved. I wore this in the hospital. So what do you think? Can you see me in a thing like this? What happened after you had the baby? Uh, Noah got transferred to Boston, and Abigail stuck me in a boarding house with a hundred bucks and followed him. When was this? Oh, it was, uh, right after the baby, when I was released from the hospital. What? Mm, it's all right. I mean, I at least got rid of them. <sighs> Wait a minute. When you were just left alone, right after you lost a baby? See, I told you. I know something that you don't. He would do anything. Anything at all to hurt me. Does that include abandoning a 17-year-old kid who's just lost her baby? I never saw him again. At least I don't think I did. So what did you do? How did you manage to get by? I babysat. Once I got on my feet, I needed money to, to live on, so I took care of other people's babies. It's a nifty little irony, isn't it? I'm sure Noah would just love it. I wore this nightgown every night. I know it's crazy. I just thought that I could smell the baby smell on it. But of course I couldn't because I washed it a million times. I really did take very good care of all those babies. Sorry. Honey, it's all right. You couldn't do anything. So his name was Luke. What? The boy that you loved. Luke. Yes. You know, it's just that you've never really talked about him. Well, Noah threw him out after he found out I was pregnant. And he didn't come back? No, he didn't. I guess he wasn't too thrilled about our little family. Since Noah didn't want any part of it. And that's it? I never saw him again. <laughs>